All right, man. Detroit Lions defeat the Chicago Care Bears. Um, uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Big, big win. Um, it's the first win on the road for the Detroit Lions under Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes regime. Um, and honestly, this game, this game shouldn't have been competitive. Um, the Lions should have ran away with this game. A lot of opportunities was missed. Um, the sack before the half. And that's just that's just a product. This game was close to product of having backups. We've been playing with them all year. I mean, I think Jamal, uh, I think uh, Josh Pascal left the game. Julian Orcor left and came back. I'm not sure if Pascal came back. You got to think about it for a minute. Um, we look at the Lions. That's why I told you all. If they get healthy over the offseason, they're ahead of what we actually think they are on the curve. You know, that's kind of what I've been telling y'all, because if they were to get healthy, think about it. You know, their defensive line who was out there today, most of them dudes ain't going to be starting come next year. A. Hudson will, possibly Charles Harris will, Charles Harris if they don't get Will Anderson. You look on the inside, it's going to be Levi Anazork. He's going to be starring. Josh Pascal going to be playing big minutes. You know what I'm saying? Um, probably going to have another linebacker in the middle. So, um, and then offensively, they was out there with just a Havel St. Brown. At some point, you get Jamison Williams back. At some point, um, you know, you probably bring Josh Reynolds back, find another receiver. So, uh, this team going to look different. And it's showing that it can't survive without DeAndre Swift. Honestly, um, Jamal Williams is showing that he good enough to be able to be the lead back right now. Now, come next time, this time next year, that might not be true or might not be the case. But um, it was just a, a big victory, you know, um, to break through on the road, to keep their composure with so many players that, that usually won't start, uh, with so many players who, you know, like Harvey Joseph, you know, and that Justin Fields long touchdown run, um didn't come downhill and bring and bring the bring the hammer and like he made a business decision you know that's going to be a teachable moment we know he's great in coverage that's why you got tracy walker to be good you know in the box they match each other fly or they balance each other out so um but you know they have success on the ground um herbert and, and montgomery herbert has some really good good uh runs today Justin Fields ran for a buck 47. A lot of the buck 47 came on the 67 yard run play in the first play from scrimmage. The first play from scrimmage for him was like what 30, 40 yards, 28 yards, whatever it was. Um, you know, and you know, the thing about him is to keep him in the pocket and make him make throws from the pocket. When you keep when you force it to keep him in the pocket and you don't lose contain, he gave you a pick six, you know. He ain't really developed in the pocket, and it's going to take some time because, obviously, he's going to be linked to us, too, because we passed up on him for Panisa Will, and we passed up on him, uh, trading Stafford to Carolina, and we could have had him at eight in that year's draft as well. So, you know, we told us to go with the Rams, and, you know, Stafford out today, Arizona back up out today. So <clears throat> we'll see where that pick may land at, top 10, top 15. It might turn out being the, the one you need. So. Um, and Chicago was just deconstructed their defense. Honestly, that's pretty much what they done. No Khalil Mack, no Robert Quinn, just Eddie Jackson and some Jaquan Brisker. Love them come out of Penn State this year, you know. And you know, so they're 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 putting their defense back together on the fly, and they trying to put that offensive line and offense back together on the fly. So you know, our trajectory is pretty much the same as Chicago. Only how you say Chicago is ahead of us because it appears that they got their franchise quarterback now. Looking at that quarterback, um, looking at that, looking at the quarterback, um, you know that that draft don't look too hot right now. And um, Trey Lance, you know, in the sample size, uh, Trevor Lawrence not looking too well. Mac Jones going through some adversity over there. Uh, was Kellen Mond in that draft as well too? Maybe a draft before that. So. It really ain't, you know, it really ain't looking like we thought it was going to look, quite frankly. So um, it's really looking like one of the bigger duds of uh, 
so far. But I mean, Geno Smith shows you that marination takes some time <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, Lions ran it today. Jared Goff was good enough. Only what? Uh, seven incompletions, only sacked two times. Um, didn't have a pick. I think the pick he got, they called it back. He had a fumble, but he didn't lose it. That was kind of on a little trick play. I guess that was credit to him. Hudson and Anders only had big games. I mean, Joseph was pretty active in the block. But Kirby Joseph was pretty active in the box just that one play. Isaiah Bugs is the one that missed the sack for the TD. Um, they get guys like Kaminsky back. I mean, they get they getting healthy. They getting healthy, you know, and you had Jameson Williams, you had a healthy Josh Reynolds and DJ Shark. Your offense back explosive. So, you know, getting Jerry Jacobs back. So they getting healthy, and now you're starting to see results. Everybody's saying, oh, it's the coordinators. And, you know, you're dealing with a first-time coordinator and Ben Johnson. What do, what, do, what do we honestly expect? You know, there's it can be it could have been a lot worse. He's doing a really good job. I just don't like how much he threw it on first downs, but I, I feel him. It worked out today, right? And Chicago's ahead of us. So they got their franchise quarterback. So, I mean, we had to see, but Hutchinson, big day today as well, too, had a sack. And this, this dude was sacked three times. You could have said he was sacked, could have been sacked 23 times. Justin Fields is just that dynamic and that strong of a man. The next evolution for him is going to be able to – uh is going to be able to be guy, you know, be guys in the pocket. And Randall Cunningham had to learn that. You see, Josh Allen got knocked out of the game again today. You cannot survive in this league as a running back, running and taking contact. It's just you can't. That's why you know uh, running backs have a, a shorter shelf life. Ward Dunn was able to have a long shelf life because he knew how to roll with the blow. Well, look at him talk about. How he knew how to absorb the punishment so it wouldn't, you know, hurt his body. So you can't be out there taking blows. You know, when they put him on the move, he running. All that's just going to add up to him beginning on his prime. He has to sit in the pocket and make plays. And it's better sooner now when you're not set up to win, him start doing that. But, you know, he's a phenomenal um, player. I mean, he got the arm strength. Um He got the arm strength. Uh, you know, I think most time he had the accuracy. Uh, he almost threw a pick in the game after the pick six to Jeff Okuda. It's just Ch Claypool made a great, you know, breakup on the pass. So, I mean, you know, they, they play the game, man. You know, Tom Kenny with a huge catch on a deep crossing route. I mean, that was a great route by him. I think he's showing that uh, he belongs in this league. And if they have any trouble with the slot receiver, I think he can step in and play pretty well. I mean, think about who they went out there with. St. Brown, you know, Khalif Raymond, Howard Brown, Tom Kennedy. You know, they got it done. And DeAndre Swift still wasn't 100%. He got a touchdown, still wasn't 100%. And they still found a way to get it done. You know, they had Mooney, Komet went crazy. Uh, and, and they brought Pingle back. Chase Claypool was going to take some time to get his feet wet. You know what I'm saying? So we're not playing with our best offensive weapons. Nowhere near that. You know, we're not playing nowhere near healthy on defense, neither. So, like I said, this time next year, man, you should still you should see a major jump from the Detroit Lions. Knock on wood, please. You should see a major jump. You should see a major jump for the next year. You know, just based on health. Just based on health. And I'm telling y'all, the biggest key next year for them, you know, they won two in a row, got a roll game. The biggest key next year is three things. I'm going to say it right now, November 13th, to twenty two. three things. It's going to be third. It's going to be the evolution, no particular order. It's going to be the evolution of the coaching staff and the coordinators. They evolution and you know doing what they you know doing what they need to do to be better. Second is gonna be overall health. Yeah, this is an order. Second is gonna be overall health. And if you get on the Zorky back healthy and he can he, you know, 
And he 100% healthy with the back, which is always iffy. This defense is going to look a lot different, even with the same players. You put him in the middle of the defense, Hudson is going to be a perennial 10 to 12 sack guy a day in a year. Charles Harris is going to be a perennial 10 to 12 sack guy well. Or if you bring in Will Anderson, you're probably talking about 12 to 15. So, you know, overall health in the particular Anazarki and then the number one is what they do at the quarterback position. Um, is it Stroud? Is it Bryce? Is it Lamar? Is it Levis? Is it somebody else? So, you know, we'll see what they can do. We'll see what they can do. You know, we'll see what they can do. So, um, but other than that, only only concern they kept them. Um, only concern they kept them in this Minnesota crap looking wild, bro. So it let Minnesota got stopped on the fourth. I'm watching from the back room the audio. And obviously, I'm shooting. So Minnesota went for it on fourth and goal. And it looked like Justin Jefferson scored a touchdown before that. He didn't. All right, they went for it on fourth and goal, got stopped. Or Kirk Cousins got stopped on the quarterback sneak. The Bills get it on the goal line, right? They fumbled the ball, right? Remember, it's 20, it was 23-27. They fumbled the ball on the goal line to ice the game. Minnesota gets the fumble, gets the touchdown. Now they up 29-27. Phenomenal. This is never giving up. You got to understand, too, the quarterback got an elbow issue. Josh Allen got knocked out of this game, and they're not playing this smart. If you're going to lose, why not lose and let them get healthier? You know, you know. do you really want home field advantage in Buffalo in January when it's snowing and all that stuff, and Buffalo is not a running team? And, yes, Josh Allen dropped the direct snap under center. It's just that these coaches are not too smart, bro. Let them rest, just like they should let two rest before you even got to that. Let him rest. You're paying Case Keenum to go with his former team. Let the man rest. He drops the snap. It wasn't shotgun. It was right under the, the center. He drops the snap. And they QB sneaking it with him. I mean, Jesus Christ, bro. Jesus Christ. And that's how they lose the game. When they could have lost the game and let him get healthy for a week or two or whatever it may be. Can't make this up. So, mm, it is what it is. But a uh, great win by the, by the Lions, man. Two in a row. Um, where we rolling that next week with it at? Let me see real quick. Let's see we rolling with it at next week. Because it's not Thanksgiving. So, we rolling with the Giants. I think the Giants beat Houston today. So, we rolling, to, we rolling with the Giants next week. We in New York. Second game on the road. Good football team, really good defense, uh, quarterback trash, pretty really athletic. And uh, we got the problem known as Saquon coming in. So, I mean, I got a stretch. New York, Thanksgiving, Buffalo, Jacksonville, Minnesota. We had New York, by the way. Back at New York versus Jets, versus at Carolina, Chicago, Green Bay to end out the season. So, um, we end the season out on the road, uh, home season – Home, the last home game is for Chicago. Then we end down at Green Bay on the road. So we'll see. Um, like Minnesota going to roll to 8 1. So uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all our notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live with our video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple, well, Spotify, Anchor. Oh, that's in my link tree. Hit the first link. It's the link tree in the description. Appreciate the love, support. But um, but yeah, man, uh, good win, good win. So um, we we'll hopefully see if they can keep the momentum going next week in versus New York. It's a good football team, but it's a winnable game. And um, to me, it's just you know health. You just boil down to health. That's just the number one thing I can say. It boiled down to health. 
that's the one thing I said. If they was a healthy bunch, um, the season would be totally different. But, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. Hit pile in the description. Peace.